What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do something kind of fun. I've, uh, I've always seen these videos and I haven't done one myself. So we're gonna do a what's in my camera bag 2021 style. Now I know it's not 2021 yet, but you know, a couple weeks, I don't think my, uh, my bag's gonna change much. And I wanna make future videos of what's in my bag just to see how far I progress or maybe I downsize, who knows? I'm excited, but anyways, let's get into it. All right, so here is my setup. Nothing too crazy, but it works. Now, a couple of items I'm actually having to use right now to make this video, so I put in a couple of placeholder items for, uh, for those items that are missing while I'm using them. Okay, first up, the most exciting bit. We got a hard drive. Now, I think everybody has a hard drive if you are dealing with lots of files and lots of gigabytes. It's kind of a necessity. Um, you can get anywhere from like cheaper hard drives to more expensive ones. I, I don't think this is the most expensive one. Um, I just got it actually secondhand and uh, it's been working. It's only 250 gigs, so, uh, but that's all I really need to carry on me. You know, if I need to store footage somewhere else, I'll store it into another hard drive uh, when I get home. But while I'm out on the go, this is, uh, this is what I use. So yeah, little Phillips hard drive. Most exciting bit. Actually, I lied, this is the most exciting bit. We got a little cloth you know, to wipe computer screens, wipe lenses, to clean whatever you need to clean with a cloth. Um, not much more to say about that. Next up, we got a power brick. Now this is just handy in case you need to charge anything, which is a given, so yeah, anyways, move on. All right, on to the good stuff. You guys are gonna be surprised. This is a MacBook Air 2017. You're gonna ask yourselves, Canon, how do you edit R6 footage, H.265 footage on such a dated computer, which is really lacking in specs. I'll tell you, it's called proxies. Proxies are my best friend. Proxies are MacBook Air 2017's best friend. It works, it does the job. All these videos you've seen up until now, it's been edited on this. We don't all have a MacBook Pro, all right? It's coming, oh, not yet. I love you. Mwah. Smells good too. Oh, I skipped over one thing that was sitting right here, which is currently in the camera right now, which is an extra battery, extra camera battery. But yeah, anyways, moving on. All right, we got the Canon EOS R6 with the EF 16 to 35 F4 image stabilized, mounted on with the EF to EOS R mount adapter. And you may be wondering, what the heck is this? This is my, uh, my placeholder for the Canon R6 and the 16 to 35 F4 lens, so yeah. Placeholder, because I'm filming with it. I'm loving the R6, it's a wonderful camera, the, one of the best mirrorless cameras that I've used, and uh, yeah, it creates an amazing image, and has IBIS, 4K, full frame, all that good stuff. And then the 16-35 f4 is an awesome wide-angle image stabilized lens. It's kind of like a cheaper version, a cheaper alternative to like the RF 15-35 stabilized. Um, it works great. So every kind of vlog shot that you've ever seen up until now was shot with that lens. All right, next up we got a uh, Manfrotto tripod, just a real easy, small, lightweight tripod. If I need to vlog, if I need to mount my camera up anywhere, place it anywhere, yeah, perfect little tripod, super handy, um, really affordable, and has this little thing that you can, yeah, so for vlogging, if you wanna tilt your camera up that way. Ah, yeah, perfect. I actually usually just hold the lens now while I'm vlogging, I just find it easier, but you know, Sometimes I decide to use a tripod, but I always keep it on me. It's always in my camera bag. Is it a necessity? Mm. All right, next up, which is a necessity, is my ND filter, which is by Gobe or Gobi. It's, uh, it's actually a pretty cool company. You buy ND filter off of them, and they uh, give you a code that you can put in to uh, plant some trees. So if you wanna help the earth help climate change, which is an issue, we need to get on top of that. Gobi ND filter, obviously is a necessity. If you are into filmmaking, I'm sure you know what an ND filter is. But in case you don't, let me tell you the cliche definition for an ND filter. It is sunglasses for your camera. All right, moving on. So next up we have the Mavic Mini, this little beast with the controller, which are about the same size. Yeah, the controller actually might be a little bit bigger than the Mavic Mini. 
Uh, no, I don't have the Mavic Mini 2. I plan on getting a new drone, but uh, not the Mavic Mini 2, probably not. I'd probably go with the Air 2. I think that's what I'm gonna go with. Although the Mavic Mini 2 does look good. And this thing is a beast of a drone. I don't know if you've seen a previous video that I made. This drone got knocked out of the sky by an eagle and it only walked away with uh, just like a little minor dent. It still flies, didn't have to get the gimbal fixed or anything. It was a big crash, it was, it was really up high. It was really, yeah. Yeah, so it's a little beast. I love this little drone. So all the drone shots you've seen have been shot on this little Mavic Mini. Now it only shoots 2.7K, but I always up res the footage to 4K because I always export all my stuff in 4K and it looks good. So yeah, little Mavic Mini and uh, a nice remote, which is pretty much the same size as the uh, Mavic Mini. Moving on. Next up is the Rode Video Micro. Now this is just a nice little backup uh, microphone because um, I've had microphones fail on me and then had to use the onboard audio from the camera, which sucks. I'd prefer to use a microphone 100% of the time. So this is my backup microphone, just in case something happens to my other microphone. So little uh, Rode Video Micro. It's a little beast, little beast of a, of a microphone. Don't gotta have any batteries. All you gotta do is just plug it into the camera and that's it. So nice little backup. All right, here we have a Polar Pro ND filter adapter or filter adapter, basically to put my ND filter onto this little adapter, which can therefore put it on a smaller filter thread. So I think it's, what is it? It's the 77 millimeter to the 67 millimeter. So my ND filter being a 60 or a 77 millimeter filter thread, I screw it onto this. And then the inside of this right here is a 67 millimeter filter thread, which I can screw onto my other lens, which is over here, which we'll talk about in a minute. So it's a necessity for uh, keeping those ND filters on my lenses and not having to buy a bunch of ND filters. All right, below that, I have my Rode Microphone Video Pro Plus. Uh, I think I said that right. The Rode Video Micro, no, Rode Video Microphone Pro Plus. They're too long. The Pro Plus. <laughs> yeah, this is my placeholder because I'm actually uh, it's out of frame right now, but I'm using it to record my audio. But uh, yeah, here's the, uh, the little, uh, what do you call these things? I don't know. Basically this comes on the microphone, but I actually got a dead cat for my microphone. So it looks like a big fluffy tail. But uh, yeah, this is cool for, uh, I don't know, decoration for a placeholder. All right, above that, we have a micro SD adapter to plug into my uh, computer because we all need that for our micro SDs for our Mavic minis or our drones, you know, or GoPros. Yeah, real handy. So need one of those. And below that are my ND filters for my Mavic mini. They're little uh, magnetic filters that just magnetize onto, uh, onto the camera on the Mavic mini. Handy. You need that for uh, some nice cinematic footage. All right, last up. I think uh, one of my favorite parts of this whole uh, kit is the new RF85 Macro F2 STM. I get these names terribly wrong. It's the new RF85 F2 lens. And uh, I just recently did a video on this, so you can click, I think this side. I'm gonna go with this side. Click the link on this side to watch my first initial review on this lens. Um, yeah, so this lens actually has that 67 millimeter thread. So that's what I use my Polar Pro adapter for to get my ND on so I don't have to buy a bunch of ND filters. Good way to save money. Mwah! I love this lens. It's a great B-roll lens, great portrait lens. Just a great emotional lens. It hits you in the feels, you know? Some. Some lenses just do that, hits you in the feels. If I can get this thing to stop rolling, stop it. Don't want that to roll on the floor. Oh, and one bonus item that I actually do not use ever and will never be in my Kimmer bag ever again is uh, this Gorilla Pod. They're too risky. Great company and I, they do have their use. I don't mean to actually just crap on them, but I don't trust it with uh, my heavier mirrorless cameras because the legs tend to just give out and uh, smash your camera, smash your lens, and goodbye to that because we don't want any of that. 
All right, guys, that's what's in my camera bag, 2021 version, 2021 style. I'm excited to see what uh, what's in my bag next year. Comment down below if you guys have any other suggestions of things I should put in my camera bag or possibly take out, and uh, what's in your guys' camera bag. I'd love to know. Either make a video of yourself doing you know, a little camera bag thing or comment down below and let me know because I love this stuff. I love watching this stuff. You guys love this? I love it. All right, if you enjoyed this video, I would greatly appreciate if you'd hit that like button. Helps me out tremendously. It helps get the video out into the algorithm. And uh, you know, if not, I love you anyways. Consider subscribing if you wanna see more of this crazy camera stuff and YouTube stuff and filmmaking stuff. That didn't sound convincing at all. Consider subscribing if you wanna see more filmmaking stuff or anything to do with any of this gear, any other videos on on on, on, on any of this. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna end the video here because my brain's a little fried. I'll see you next time. Peace. This is a message to anybody out there that is starting on this filmmaking game or this YouTube journey, any of that. I just want you guys to know, doesn't matter what gear you have, doesn't matter if you're starting fresh, it's okay to want gear, you know, or to aspire to be a great filmmaker or YouTuber or whatever, but don't let anybody else or anybody else's actions, gear, or anything like that, don't let it bring you down or hinder you or stop you from going out and creating or even sharing what's in your camera bag. Because to be completely honest, I don't even have a proper camera bag yet. I'm using a backpack. I store all my stuff carefully and, you know, fragilely. But, uh, I'm just using a normal backpack. Now that doesn't seem professional, but what's professional? What's professional, guys? Nothing. Professional is a man-made, imaginary, Thing, all right, so don't let anybody else tell you what you should or shouldn't be and uh, Or what you should and shouldn't have because it doesn't matter What matters is your creativity and your message that you want to share and uh, I think I'm gonna end it there. I Love you all and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace